All right, guys, let's talk Spider Co. for a few minutes. This was uh, loaned in from my good friend, Random Rob. There will be a link down below to his channel. So please go check him out. This is the Spider Co. Chaparral with Maple. Let's just zoom in here because this is a very cool looking knife. It's small. It's way too small for me. I'm not going to lie. But the wood on the handles is really cool. That, you know, I'm not going to rush out and buy one of these, but it's very cool because of that. So let's dive right into the specs. It's three and five eighths closed, six and three eighths overall with a 2.79 blade length, 2.3 cutting edge. It's 0 0.018 behind the edge. Blade steel is CTS XHP. Blade thickness is 0 0.076. So it's super thin, super slicey, super usable. Uh, and it weighs in at just 2.2 ounces. Overall thickness is 0.356. So this thing is super tiny, but also, also very cool. Now you can choke up and it feels really good if you're choking up on it. This is going to be really good for, you know, areas where you don't want to carry something big and scary, right? Like, you know, if you're going to pull this out in the lunchroom, that's going to be a problem. You pull this out, nobody's going to notice or really even care. Um, and so for that reason alone, it's worth having a small knife because there's always going to be areas that we go or that we travel that you need a small knife. One of my small knives that I have for those instances is the small honey badger. Okay. Which is very similar in size. Move that out of the way a little bit. So, you know, it's good to have a small knife for those times that, you know, you might want to carry something a little smaller just because of the environment that you're going to go in. Okay. I am always a big fan of that. I am also a big fan of having a budget knife around for when you go to areas where you may or may not be uh, screened for security reasons. You know, if you happen to be somewhere that you're just not sure, I don't know that I'm going to take a full custom with me to an area I'm not sure because I don't want to get to the gate have a screening checkpoint and lose my custom knife or have to, you know, head back to the car, find the parking lot, go to the tram, get on it, go, you know, whatever the situation is. I like to have a budget knife available in those situations. And I like to have a small knife available for instances where I may need a knife, but I may be in an area where knives are not super, you know, they're not frowned upon, but it looks a little odd. The wire clip is cool. Uh, I'm not a huge wire clip fan, but it works really well on this knife. So we'll just kind of do a quick walk around. The blade finish is uh, really nice. It's a full flat grind. So it starts here and gets smaller. The wood is just really nicely done. Super smooth, super just feels really good in the hand. Still has a little sticker there underneath the uh, pocket clip. This is out of their Taichung factory, which just really means that that is one of the factories that they have. They have multiple factories, and I think I've talked about this before. And the Taichung factory seems to produce the highest quality products from Spyderco. Don't know why that is. Don't know what it is about it, but they produce the absolute highest quality items out of that factory. So 
Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons with the Sharpie and a number two pencil. The D, uh, AA and D cell batteries. How about next to the Spyderco Delica, which I already think is too small for me. Now I do like the blade shape of the Chaparral better. Okay. The Delica blade looks really like a bird's beak. It just does. So I like this more leaf shape better than this shape. You know, it even kind of hooks down at the end. It kind of comes down and then it drops off again. So I don't know. This one glows in the dark, so I have to keep it because it's cool. Uh, and since we pulled out the Hellraiser, why not compare it to that? So I don't know. The spider co Spider Co. is what I started out with, knife collecting. Um, really, as I got into it, I carried a Spider Co. police model for years and years and years, so much so that I had it had sent it in for sharpening so many times that Spider Co. finally just sent me a brand new one and said, we can't sharpen it anymore because I had worn it away. So, <laughs> but that was actually my very first YouTube video. I talked all about the Spider Co. police model. So, um, yeah, here is the Chaparral. Thanks, Rob, for loaning this in. Please go check out his channel and please go check out my uh, Spider Co. Police model video and uh, see how it all started. Thanks, guys.